Good morning students I am Renu Yadav and I will teach you science class 5 So the first topic is the circulatory system Food water and oxygen are required by all organisms to stay alive These materials are produced in one part of the body but must reach all parts of the body in all higher animals and humans the transport system is called the circulatory system the circulatory system is also called cardiovascular system or the vascular system the circulatory system is the life support system of our body we can say so as it provides our body cells with food and oxygen and it also takes away waste products from all parts of the body therefore we can say that the circulatory system which is also known as the cardiovascular system or the vascular system is an organ system that permits blood to circulate and transport nutrients oxygen carbon dioxide hormones and blood cells to and from the cells in the body to provide nourishment and help in fighting diseases and stabilize temperature the circulatory system consists of three main parts the first one is the heart the heart is a muscular organ in most animals which pumps blood through the blood vessels of the circulatory system blood provides the body with oxygen and nutrients as well as assisting in the removal of metabolic waste in humans the heart is located between the lungs in the middle compartment of the chest the second part is blood blood is a body fluid in humans and other animals that delivers necessary substances such as nutrients and oxygen to the cells and transport metabolic waste products away from those same cells in vertebrates it is composed of blood cells suspended in blood plasma then the third one is blood vessels the blood vessels are the components of the circulatory system that transport blood throughout the human body these vessels transport blood cells nutrients and oxygen to the tissues of the body they also take waste and carbon dioxide away from the tissue blood vessels are needed to sustain life because all of the body tissues rely on their functionality let us learn about each of them in brief the blood is a red colored fluid that flows in the blood vessels it is a constantly circulating 
fluid providing the body with nutrition oxygen and waste removal blood is mostly liquid with numerous cells and proteins suspended in it making blood thicker than pure water the average person has about 5 liters of blood so children here you can see the image of blood the red ones are red blood cells white ones are white blood cells purple ones are platelets and the yellow part is plasma body cells are of two types red blood cells and white blood cells red blood cells contains the pigment hemoglobin that gives red color to the rbcs and hence the blood rbcs are the most common type of blood cells and the vertebrates principal means of delivering oxygen to the body tissues via blood flows through the circulatory system rbcs take up oxygen in the lungs and release it into tissue while squeezing through the body's capillaries white blood cells white blood cells defend the body against infection they are also called leukocytes white blood cells are the cells of the immune system that are involved in protecting the body against both infectious diseases and foreign invaders all white blood cells are produced and derived from multipotent cells in the bone marrow leukocytes are found throughout the body including the blood and lymphatic system all white blood cells have nuclei which distinguish them from other blood cells red blood cells and platelets blood platelets they are very tiny cells that help to stop bleeding by clotting of blood platelets are a component of blood whose function is to react to bleeding from blood vessel injury by clumping thereby initiating a blood clot platelets have no cell nucleus and platelets are found only in mammals blood plasma is a yellowish liquid component of blood that holds the blood cells in whole blood in suspension it is the liquid part of the blood that carries cells and proteins throughout the body 
it makes up about 55% of the body's total blood volume. It is mostly water and contains important dissolved proteins, hormones, carbon dioxide and oxygen. Functions of blood. It provides food and oxygen to every body cell. It removes waste from the cells. It helps in regulating body temperature and it protects the body against infection. Blood vessels. Blood flows through tubes called blood vessels. We have arteries, veins and capillaries. Now we will compare arteries and veins. Arteries have thick and muscular walls. They used to carry blood away from the heart. Always remember A for arteries and A for away. So arteries will always carry blood away from the heart. They are bright red in color and they contain lot of oxygen. Whereas veins, they have thin walls. They carry blood towards the heart, just opposite, towards the heart. And they are dark in color and they does not contain oxygen. Capillaries are the finest blood vessels. They connect arteries to veins. They have very thin walls. At the capillaries, food and oxygen pass from blood to the cells. And carbon dioxide and waste products pass from cells to the blood. The heart is a living form. It is the size of a fist. It is cone shaped and lies between the lungs in our chest. It is made up of muscles that contract and relax tirelessly throughout life. The heart beats continuously and pumps blood into the arteries to be transported to all parts of the body. The heart has four chambers two auricles and two ventricles. The heart is divided into two halves by a thick muscular septum. Each half has an auricle above and a ventricle below. The right half of the heart has deoxygenated blood while the left half has pure oxygenated blood. The right auricle receives deoxygenated blood from the whole body while the left auricle receives oxygenated blood from the lungs. The ventricle are the distributing chambers of the heart. Their walls are thick. The right ventricle receives deoxygenated blood from the right auricle and pumps it to the lungs for oxygenation. Have a look at the picture to understand the structure of heart in a better way. When both the auricles and ventricles are relaxed, the auricles get filled with blood. The right auricle receives deoxygenated blood from all parts of the body and the left auricle receives oxygenated blood from the lungs by pulmonary veins. Next, both the auricles contract together and their walls open. Blood from the left auricle comes into the left ventricle and from the right auricle into the right ventricle. Next, both the auricle and ventricle contract. The oxygenated blood from left ventricle is pumped into aorta and is distributed to all body parts by arteries. The deoxygenated blood from the right ventricle is pumped into pulmonary aorta and is transported to the lungs by pulmonary arteries for oxygenation. The rhythmic contraction and relaxation of the auricles and ventricles is known as heartbeat. The human heart 
beats about 72 times per minute. Doctor here heartbeat using a separate pole. Cutting down the amount of fat in the diet will keep the heart healthy. Extra fat in the body puts extra pressure on the heart as it has to push the blood to greatly enlarged body. Regular exercise and deep breathing also keep the heart healthy. With this, we end up with the topic. Try to solve these questions as homework. Thank you.